All right, Fly Mechanic here, and today a customer brought their Chevy truck in for a check engine light. Uh, they have a stored code P0141 for O2 sensor heater circuit performance bank one sensor two. And um, also a lot of times uh, other code that will set will be a P0161, and that's just for the bank two sensor two, O2 sensor heater. Basically what that, what that mean is um, the O2 sensors uh, have a heater inside of them so they warm up quicker and they'll start uh, functioning once they don't actually work properly till they're up to temperature. So these heaters help them get into uh, closed loop faster so your vehicle's um, more efficient and less pollutant. But basically what they're saying is we have a problem with the heater circuit. The first things um, you're going to want to check, or first let me explain uh, bank one sensor two. Basically on a eight cylinder motor you have, usually have two oxygen sensors before the catalytic converter. One on bank one and one on bank two. And then two sensors after the catalytic converter. And those are going to be the sensors two. So bank one sensor two is going to be the bank whichever cylinder one is on. So that's going to be the odd number bank. And then bank two would be the even number bank would be so where the cylinder two is going to be on. Uh, so on this one it's going to be the bank where cylinder one is and then it's going to be after the catalytic converter. If it was a bank one sensor one that would be before the catalytic converter or bank two sensor two is going to be after the catalytic converter. But first thing you're going to want to check, uh, the first thing uh, you're going to want to check on these Chevy trucks for the O2 sensor heater is they actually have uh, fuses in the underhood fuse box and uh, let me show you which ones those are real quick. All right, so there's two, few, two 15 amp fuses for um, one for the left bank, one for the right bank, and they're going to be labeled three and four in the under hood fuse panel. And they're going to be uh, this blue one right here, and uh, the other one right next to it here. But and this is uh, for Chevy 1500, 2500 with a 6.0 liter or 5.3 liter. And if you check the fuse panel uh, cover, you can see right here they're labeled. I'm gonna focus. Yeah, they're labeled uh, O2A 15 amp and O2B 15 amp. So first, you just want to make sure those are good. Yeah. So check those two fuses first, and providing those fuses are good. Um, next, we're gonna go down to the O2 sensor itself. And we're going to check the um, check the resistance of the heater itself, see if it's open or if it's got high resistance. And we're also going to check to make sure we have power going down to the O2 sensor. But I'm going to go ahead and take this thing out and we're going to bench test that. So um, I'll be right back with some further testing. Alright, so we got an O2 sensor here. Um, I actually didn't have to test the one on the truck because as you guys saw I had rubbed through the drive shaft there. But um, a quick easy test to do on these first off, you're going to want to make sure you have power going to the uh, heater. And typically on a cold motor when you turn your key on, um, it's going to power that heater circuit up. And most all O2 sensors, you can see here, um, I, have, I got two black leads. Uh, those are going to be the heater circuit. One's going to be ground and one's going to be the uh, power lead. So in order to test this, normally when uh, these heaters burn up, it's going to be an open circuit. It's going to be an open circuit. So I got my power probe here, which um, I got, have a link in the video description below under the one tool every mechanic needs is the power probe. But uh, these things are cool. Basically, we can check for continuity. We can, we can apply power to it to see um, if it's actually working. But So I'm going to go to the two black leads here. Uh, one, two. It doesn't matter which side you put the power or ground lead on. But uh, first, we're going to check for continuity. I can do that with this power probe just by... See how when I, when I touch this ground part of the power probe to the tip, that beat means we have continuity. So I'm going to check for continuity between the cedar first off. And um, Alright, so this, one, this one's testing good as far as continuity goes. And we can even take this a step further. And I can actually apply... Let me shut this beeping off. I can actually apply power to this uh, heater. And... Probably gonna want to hold it on there for I don't know, probably 30 seconds a minute. I'm not gonna do that right now, but if I were to continue holding that, um, I did this earlier, and the tip of this 
uh, oxygen sensor actually heats up. So um, you can test them that way as well. And that's honestly probably the best way to test them. Just a manual bench test. You can uh, see if they're open. You can see if they're heating up. And um, you know that will tell you if it's bad for sure. But on this one, they were up to the drive shaft. It was pretty easy find and uh, easy fix. So. Okay, so here's what we found on this one. I got down to test this O2 sensor. I was going to check for power, obviously, first, and I was going to check the heater um, inside the O2 sensor itself. But it was pretty obvious that this um, wiring right off the O2 sensor was rubbing on the drive shaft. Uh, chances are this was probably replaced at some point, and when somebody reinstalled it, they just didn't run the wires properly. But, um, yeah, as you can see, this thing's... Uh, been rubbing on there for a little bit or rub through the heater circuit so we're going to go ahead and replace this o2 sensor that's what's going to fix this one but if you want to test it just don't plug it here and do all your testing at this connector whether it be from the power side or the o2 side but uh appreciate you guys watching this video on uh this o2 sensor test on this chevy if it was helpful be sure to hit the thumbs up button and uh the bell and if you haven't already subscribe to the flat rate mechanic till next time